Hey guys, the faceless beanie is back and Mirage Prime is here so I thought I'd do a quick video showing you guys the new relics and where to farm them so I'll be showing you the relic followed by the location or the mission where I think it's best to farm that particular relic and yep, that's about it, I hope it does help you out let's get right into it so the only Lith Relic is the Lith S7 which drops the Mirage Prime Chassis as a common drop. So for Lith Relics, go to Spear in Mars and stay for 10 waves and get out. So why I like Spear so much is because it's a low level defense mission which means that newcomers are going to be able to utilize it to farm relics just as more experienced players will be able to. It doesn't really matter what Warframe you use, although I love Ember here, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a team or not, right? It's a very simple mission to do. Stay for 10 waves and get out. So in about 5 minutes, I got 2 Lith Relics in 10 waves. So there's only one Meso Relic as well, the Meso H1, which drops the Neuroptics as a common drop. So Meso Relics, you want to go to Io which is in Jupiter so stay for 10 waves and then get out so which warframes should you be using I would recommend using a high DPS warframe so something like Banshee or Sarin or Amber any of these will get the 10 waves done in about five to seven minutes on average and the best part is that the rest of your team probably won't have to do anything so sometimes you'll get a little unlucky and get what I got, 15 endo or something like that. But most of the time you should be getting two Meso Relics across 10 waves. So for new relics, there's actually two of them. And the first one is the V6 Relic, which drops the systems as an uncommon drop. So the other new relic, which is a new relic, I believe, the M1, drops the Mirage Prime Blueprint itself as a rare drop. So for new relics, I prefer to go to Berahinia in Setna or Zini in Aris. And the only reason for this is because both of these locations prove to be very good sources of both new relics and Exi relics. And you'll be needing Exi relics for the Kogeki Prime and the Egbolto Prime, which both uh, came out with the Mirage Prime update. And so why not get them both in a single mission rather than go to separate missions for Exi and new relics? All right, so what you want to do is stay for four rounds and on the first two rounds, you should be getting new relics and the third and fourth rounds, you should be getting Axie relics. Of course, sometimes you'll get rubbish drops, but that's just how it is. I, I think this is the most efficient place to farm these relics. So in about 25 minutes, I was able to get two Axie relics and two new relics. So it shows you how efficient this place can be. So if you guys are wondering how to see the relics for yourselves, just go to your codex, go to relics and type in Mirage and the four relics you need will actually pop up on their own. Also don't forget that um, Syndicate relic packs are a very good source of relics. They give you rare relics most of the time. It's a very good source but it does depend on your luck so try it out. So that's it. I hope this video helped you out. Go have fun and farm your Mirage Prime and use her. Um, I'm not sure how good she is. We'll find out. And uh, yeah, if this video helped you out, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Uh, leave a like, comment if you have anything to say. If you have any better locations to farm the relics that you found in your experience, please let me know because I'm learning as well. So yeah, I hope this helped you out. The Faceless Beanie, signing out.